What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. Chances are you haven't met me already because 99% of you guys aren't subscribed. So click that subscribe button. I'm sure you're going to like the channel. So recently I did a review on the GTA 26. Um, it's an awesome pruner, 150 bucks. Still knocked it out of the park with this one. It's great for what it is. Um, today I decided to, uh, you know, open it up and see what it was all about inside. So I hope you guys find the video informative. And those of you who are curious and want to see inside, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, so I had really no intention of doing this video, but I figured I would uh, show you exactly what's inside the GTA 26 because I was curious, and so I opened it up. So one thing that I wanted to note um, that I thought was an electronic thing with the control board is this toggle switch here that you use your thumb on. Um, you know, you have to toggle to get the... the uh, the trigger to depress. Well, I thought it was electronic switch because it did kind of make an electronic switch noise. But it's actually just a spring and it literally just moves out of the way of the trigger. So I think that's really cool design how they did that to lock that out. Um, so you're not able to de depress the trigger and it can go either way. Really cool. Um, another thing that I guess I was a little surprised to see on such a cheap, um, what, not not necessarily cheap build quality, but cheap price was sealed bearings. So the bearing on the sprocket side is considerably bigger um, on the, uh, I guess this would be a planetary gear, uh, worm gear, whatever you want to call it. Um, I hope you didn't come here for scientific terms because I'm just not aware. <laughs> but uh, very good build quality. There's very little, um, very little play in the gears. Uh, it's it's pretty darn good. The overall build quality on this thing is awesome. I was mainly just uh, curious about how big the electric motor was on this thing, and I just uh, you know just wanted to open it up and see what it was all about. So I'm going to uh, put some some uh, some lithium grease on this. Uh, I'm probably going to use some Luber plate, uh, some Molly lithium. I'm going to put it back together. We're going to put some uh, 130 AA on it. Uh, this is basically just like a white lithium grease. I'm going to recoat the gears and then we're going to put it back together, uh, together here. So I'm probably going to be a little liberal here and grease up our gear here around this. It's probably something that, uh, could use some grease at a certain interval. I'm not sure if there's an interval on um, an interval on exactly when this would need grease, but um, that's a little over greased. But we'll get the rest of that off there. Okay, cool. There is a there is such thing as too much lubrication, so um, we'll go ahead and slide that back down into place. I'm gonna wipe my hands off because. Ugh get this stuff all over the place. Um, so I think it's uh, considered a calcium grease, um, 130 AA. Um, I don't have any technical data on 130 AA, but um, that's just the stuff I like to use. I got an old can a long time ago and it's lasted me forever. So uh, that's that. So let's go ahead and put this thing back together. The case comes apart really, really easily. Um, it's just a total of uh, six, uh, nine screws, I think. Um, literally just a case half here, and you can slip it back together. Now, you do have to cut the sticker here on the back, so I'm sure that's how they tell if that, that you've tampered with it, but I really don't care about all that stuff. So this was a T25 instead of T27, these little Torx bits or these little screws. Um, one thing, let me put this together here so it doesn't fall apart. Don't be an idiot. Don't torque these down like crazy. All right, so now that I've got that together, I want to show you here on the uh, battery end here. If you're looking to take apart this tool, uh, they have little C-clips um, just like this that hold the two cases together. They go in this slot here like that, and then you press them down into place. So 
if you're trying to get it apart, you would need to take your screwdriver down into here and pry it up and out like that. I hope you can see that all right. I hope it demonstrated that uh, to the best of my ability. So all you do is just tap, I just tapped it literally in there with the bottom of my screwdriver and I was done. So same thing on the other side of the battery opening here. Um, you just slide in the other clip and then it'll go down into place. So I'll just seat that here with the screwdriver end. So overall, pretty awesome. Um, once you get all your all of your um, all of your bolts into place, you, this thing literally just slides back on, and then there's a screw here in the top that secures the uh, the plastic on the back. So, boom. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this is a pretty awesome tool. If you haven't seen my review on it, I'll put a link right here in the uh, top right hand corner and you can go check out my review on this. I like this 150 bucks. There's, there's a heck of a build quality for this. So I was really curious to see what was inside of it and uh, you know, looking pretty awesome. So I'm gonna just cut the video here. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And I guess we'll see you guys in the next video.